गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली धनोकर वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर वी लर्न अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू माइक्रो प्रोसेसर नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो लेट सी ओके सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वॉट एक्जैक्टली माइक्रो कंट्रोलर As per our discussion in last lecture, microprocessor is the heart of computing system. Now, what is microcontroller? Microcontroller is considered as backbone of embedded system. Microcontroller is a single small integrated circuit, and this circuit control every operations or every operations related to the memory, related to the input output devices, and related to the different other peripherals. so the microcontroller the microcontroller name suggests that micro micro means the smallest right and controller controller means the enhanced ability to control different operations and different functions so basically microcontroller is a embedded applications that required for both processing functionality responsive interaction with digital analog and electrochemical components so generally each and every embedded application and embedded system the microcontroller is reside now uh, these are the different available microcontrollers that is atml avr then atx mega then arduino arm 8051 and pic 18 microcontroller so these are the just available microcontroller and we are interested in pic 18 f8 microcontroller because pic 18 microcontroller mentioned in your syllabus so in next some sessions we will learn in detail pic 18 microcontroller now the next thing is types of microcontroller as per the evaluation of microcontroller there are various types of microcontroller so basically the microcontroller can be divided into the three types that is memory as per the memory as per the architecture as per the bits and as per the instruction set so these are the category points of microcontroller the first one is bit nowadays uh, there are various microcontrollers are generally 32 bit 64 bit microcontroller but actually there are 8 bit microcontroller 16 bit and 32 bit microcontroller we will learn in this unit in this syllabus pic 18 microcontroller so which is 8 bit microcontroller okay so generally 8 bit microcontroller supports all the arithmetic and logical operations like addition subtraction multiplication then 16 bit microcontroller also supports arithmetic logical operation with with high, higher accuracy and higher performance right means suppose 8 bit microcontroller it Uh, do the addition of 8 bit data or 8 bit numerical values but 16 bit microcontroller supports the more enhanced and more major values and also more accuracy it will provide and nowadays generally 32 bit microcontroller 32 bit microcontroller generally used automatically all the controlled appliances for example washing machine medical appliances a uh, tv then a uh, camera so everywhere this controlled apply controlled microcontroller that is 32 bit microcontroller is used so 32 bit 64 bit is at the latest microcontroller so generally this bit this bit suggest that their performance and how many data how many uh, data they have carried so this mention in this 8 bit 16 bit and 32 bit microcontroller so we will learn this thing in detail in some next top points in memory organization now the next type of microcontrollers uh, we divide the microcontrollers through the memory so basically there are two types of memory that is external memory microcontroller and embedded memory microcontroller so nowadays every microcontroller supports embedded memory embedded memory means everything like uh, memory counters timers interrupt or input output devices this all things are embedded into the single chip so this is called as embedded memory microcontroller okay so an external memory microcontroller means they do not have a program memory on the chip okay means uh, suppose they required any ram rom this kind of thing they uh, they need to connect all those thing externally okay in microprocessor see in microprocessor there are only three components cpu uh, alu control unit and resistor array but if they required any memory so there is a external supply right so this is a external memory microcontroller but nowadays there will be embedded memory microcontroller right means everything can be embedded or integrated into the single chip 
now the next one is a instruction set so we can divide the microcontroller as per the instruction set there are two types of instruction set one is a CISC that is complex instruction set computer and the next one is a RISC that is reduced instruction set computer so as per the name suggests that the complex instruction set computer execute single instructions at a time or they can execute many simple instructions not a complex instructions as one right so reduce architecture uh, instruction set computer they reduce the operational time okay generally timers then interrupts this kinds of things are available means everything will be performed as per the clock cycle as per the per instructions means every clock cycle every time particular things are executed so this is a reduced instruction set computer for example washing machine so washing machine having a particular timer so uh, the every instructions are executed as per the timing right so this is a reduced instruction set computer we set the particular timing in millisecond in delay timings are there so everything work on risk architecture so we have learned peak 18 microcontroller in the syllabus so that is risk architecture the support risk architecture now the next point is elements of microcontroller so we will learn the difference in detail in next session but uh, here is a just uh, microcontroller and microprocessor components see here in a microprocessor there is ALU control unit and register array only but in microcontroller see here ROM watchdog timer RAM interrupt then timer clock ADC uh, input output serial interface everything is embedded into the single chip okay so this is the microcontroller so microprocessor generally used in computer laptop only and microcontroller generally used in every embedded application everywhere now see these are the just again elements of microcontroller oscillator a to d converter ram processor program memory input output peripherals everything is embedded into this single mic microcontroller chip now uh, this is the microcontroller connectivity see here the these are the input devices okay means as per the scenario or as per the real life applications what are our input devices our input devices is switch switch on switch off the switches then uh, push buttons keypads sensors Th these all are the input devices so by using this input devices we have provided the input to the microcontroller right so microcontroller generally placed in memory or in computer link right and output devices means after providing this input outputs are the radio link indicators then it also display some analog result then LCD on off this kind of display then buzzer or speakers are generated right so these are the output devices so simply this is the microcontroller connectivity in this way we supply the input microcontroller perform the operation and display the output so these are the some applications of microcontroller so as we discussed microcontroller generally used everywhere in light sensing and controlling devices like LEG then temperature sensing and controlling devices microwave oven chimneys then fire detection safety device fire alarm right everywhere microcontrollers are used see these are again different applications like uh, mobile phones in a uh, printer scanner uh, there is a uh, then uh, in industries then robots barcode readers right gps tracking traffic signaling then uh, again display board right in uh, railway rel in ra railway track there was a display boards in railway station air conditioning right because everything required a particular processing power right and as per the processing as per the features they work then again x-ray generator medical applications every CT scanner then ultrasound ventilators everywhere microprocessors are used so these are the different applications of microcontrollers. So thank you. This is all about this session.